Hi guys, it's Didi here and today's video is a bit different. This is my first favorites video. So I'm gonna share with you my July favorites. And these are things that I watched or listened to or purchased that really made a difference in my life in some way or another. So hopefully you like this video. If so, let me know so that I can decide whether I can do more of favorites videos. My first favorite for July is a movie that I've been waiting for for pretty long time. The movie is called I Am Not Your Guru and it it's directed by Joe Berlinger. It's a documentary movie about the life event that Tony Robbins organizes once a year in Florida. Our entire life changes in a moment. Who gets that? Say I. Problems are what make us grow. Authenticity will lead to a rich life. Life is always happening for us, not to us. Yeah. So it's a life event where he helps about 2,500 people go through, meet their destiny in a way and take control of their lives. If you don't know who Tony Robbins is, please, please go and check this guy out because he's an amazing human being and he helps millions of people around the world to take better decisions, to live a better life, to do outstanding work. I'm super crazy about Tony Robbins, so I guess I'm subjective and of course I would like everything he produces. I've been waiting for this movie for a long time. It was finally on Netflix, I think in the end of July. So if you want to watch it, jump on Netflix and watch it. It's about two hours long. It's a beautiful prepared tissues because you're going to cry, you know, connecting, relating to the experiences these people are going through but it's extraordinary and beautiful, beautiful things to watch. So the second one is a journal, the Big Life Journal, and this is a Kickstarter campaign that is running until the end of August. And it is about kids filling the weekly journal that helps them develop their growth mindset. Now, for those of you that watch my videos, you'll know I'm crazy about growth mindset. Growth mindset is a term that has been coined by the Stanford psychologist, Carol Dweck, and she has a brilliant book about that, that is a must read for all teachers and all people involved in education of kids. And also it's very important for us to make sure that we develop constantly growth mindset in our areas. This one specifically is for kids because as per the studies and research of Carol Dweck, the development of the, grown, of the mindset, whether it's growth or fixed, happens really early on in our kids' life. So it's a journal, week by week, it follows, it gives some assignments to the kids, so they need to fill them out, think of a time when you help someone, what happened, it asks them to draw different things, it works with accountability partners, so naturally I really like things that help us, our kids develop their grown mindset, if you like it, if you have a child between 5 and 10 years of age, jump on the uh, Kickstarter campaign and see whether you'd like it so you can help this amazing project. My next one is this beautiful object. It, I'm in love with the design and its functionality. And you may think that this is a little notebook, but it's not. So I'm going to show you what is it. So you just remove this part and open the most beautiful lamp possible. So I'm going to show you how it looks like at night as well, but it's really, really beautiful and it's simple design, it uses recycling materials and I really, really in love with, with the way it looks like because you can keep it like that. Again, this is a magnet or you can just close it down. I came across this object, as you know, I don't buy much stuff. I really am in, uh, in love with simplicity, with minimalistic stuff. But we went to a birthday party of a friend of mine and my girlfriend picked up this as a present. So we split the money and we purchased it. So I really, really liked it that much that I went and purchased it myself. So beautiful design, beautiful gift if there is a celebration soon. And this is how it looks like, guys. The next one is a podcast I listen to on Tim Ferriss' podcast show. If you don't know who he is, check him out. He always has amazing guests on the show and I love listening to his insights and to his questions and the way he interviews people as well. So this particular one I listened recently and it's with someone called Nicholas McCartney. And what's interesting about Nicholas McCartney is that he chose a career as a concert pianist despite the fact that he was born with only one arm. So only with one arm, his left arm, which is the weak arm in piano, Despite the fact that he was only with one arm, he chose this career. But second, he did not choose that when he was six years old. He did not even know that that's what he wanted to do in his life. He realized he wanted to be a pianist when he was 14 years of age. For those of you that know something about the world of piano or the music playing, 
you'll know that most kids would start when they're five or six years of age. And for someone to start when they're 14 years, teenagers already, and with one hand, all the odds are that he's not going to make it. I love this interview for various reasons, so go and listen to it and check out this guy because first of all, he plays beautiful music, second, he's full of positivity. I, I haven't seen anyone who is so much full of optimism and positivity. And then there are lots of takeaways that are good to apply for in my own life and I'm sure that you guys would like for in your own life as well. What I loved about Nicholas was that despite the doubters, despite the fixed mindset of people around him who told him there is no way you can make it in piano playing, there is no way that you can choose that as a career, he did not trust anyone but he followed his heart. And even sometimes he was doubting himself in the beginning, but he would say, why would I delegate the decision about my day, about my destiny, about the things I want to do to somebody else? It's up to me to decide and I'm going to make things happen. The second thing is he's, all, he's in for the long run. He's been invited to lots of shows, including British Got Talent, which is a very popular show here. Uh, but he refused because he really wanted to be taken seriously and he wanted to look into his career long term. He graduated from the Royal College of Music in London and that was a pretty popularized event here because he's the first person with one hand only who finished school in 130 years of the history in the Royal College of Music. So go check it out, I'll put link below. And my last favorite is, of course, a chocolate. <laughs> there won't be any favorites of Didi without a chocolate. Now, the good news is that I have four of these chocolates. The bad news is that they don't sell them in the UK. So if you live in Europe or in the UK, that's it. You cannot try it. If you live in the US though, or Canada, I'm sure you can find it. The brand is Hue and they have different flavors. The one that I loved most is the Puffed quinoa, but they didn't have it in the shop. I just came back from New York, so I got some in storage. And this one is hazelnut praline. Why I love this chocolate? Because it's made from very simple ingredients, because uh, the story of the company that produces it is really great as well. They want to make things with predominantly raw ingredients from the pre-industrialized world. So super nice taste, guys. I wish I can share it with you but I cannot unfortunately go and check it out if you live in the US. So these are my July favorites. Let me know in the comment box whether you like these sort of videos. I'm gonna put all the links below so you can easily find what I've been talking about. And if you like this video, please give me a thumb up guys. Leave me a comment because I love reading your comments. Unroll for my channel and I would love to see you next week. So enjoy your day, enjoy your week, your weekends, do everything with joy, even if it's the laundry or cleaning at home. And I've got a little challenge for you. Call a friend you haven't been talking to for in a while. So just pick up the phone now, call a friend, see what will come up out of it. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.